Ahoy and welcome to my channel. I'm Kathy and today I want to go through the Jeffree Star haul that I purchased a couple of months ago that I never really got to try out yet. Um, I did actually try um, the uh, Mini Weirdo palette which is actually um, on my face right now. Um, but yeah, um, you know, Jeffree Star. Love him or hate him, I'm not a huge fan but let's be honest, we can't deny how amazing his products are. Um, honestly, I own a lot of it. Um, I like it. I like the quality. Um, so, yeah, gotta keep the two aside, but this is not what this channel is about. Um, today we're just gonna go through some swatches and reviewing the mini bundle of the Nude Volume 2. Um, I haven't dipped into this yet and I'm super excited. Uh, this usually retails for about $52 US on the Jeffree Star website, which works out to be about $69 Canadian dollars if you're from Canada like me. Um, luckily, I actually got this entire bundle for just $12 US dollars, which is about $16 Canadian. Um, oh, that's quite a steal. Um, to be completely honest, when I open it up, yay! Um, Look at like the colors. I obviously like. I only like about half of them, but hey, for twelve dollars, I mean that's a steal. Um, yeah, you can really can't go wrong with that. Let's be honest. Even if I don't wear half the colors, but we're gonna try all of them today. I'm gonna swatch them on myself, and also yeah, and we'll go through it. So that's that. First off, we're gonna be covering the shade called I'm Nude. The bottle kind of looks like it's missing a little bit of product is not completely full um, and I've kind of noticed that in a lot of like the other bottles as well where it doesn't look like it's but if uh, that's how it is all right cool um, also just a heads up they are actually pretty difficult to remove from the packaging so as cute as the box is and I would love to keep it in it I'm just gonna keep it in my makeup drawers just to like have easier access um, so yeah, let's uh, let's start swatching the first one. Oh, and also pick this up too. Um, it was a limited edition. It's one of Jeffrey Star's mirrors. I love it. Let's be honest. I mean, obviously, I have to have this. Um, this retailed for about thirty dollars US, which came to about forty Canadian. So yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put this on, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so this is what I'm um, looks like on me. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it was one of the colors in the bundle that I wasn't really excited for. Um, but hey, it dried down really quickly, which is really good. Um, I have noticed that the scent is slightly different from the odor formula. The odor formula kind of smells a little bit more like house paint. Um, Describe it. This one almost has a very faint perfume smell. All right. So our next shade is called Birthday Suit. I'm completely honest. This one, my mood looks almost the exact same. One, the Birthday Suit has more of a warmer tone. Um, but let's see what it looks like. Don't know why the product came out in a big wall that I took out. It was kind of weird. Um, I love these applicators, by the way, it's that bow foot applicator that's on all um, the other Jeffree Star liquid lipstick products. Um, they glide on so easily, it's so easy to apply, one swipe and you're good. Alright, and that's the free suit. It does have a little bit more of a coral face, I think. Um, it looks slightly better than the I'm Nude shade, um, in my opinion. I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it's actually quite cute. I think with a little bit of lip gloss on it, like just on top, I think it would actually look very good. So, yeah, pretty sweet. So our next shade here is called Top Shelf. This is actually one of the uh, colors I was actually 
quite excited for. Again, the tube isn't completely filled up, but it might just be how the colors are. I'm not sure how pigments work. Um, I'm sure maybe it is actually like the same weight that it's supposed to be in. It is supposed to be 0 0.07 fluid ounce. So yeah, but it just, on the outside, it doesn't look like it's completely full, but that just may be because of how the color was, was made. Um, so yeah. I should go ahead and try this one out. Let's see for this one. I love that. This color slays. I love it. Um, I also love that there, I don't even have to go back in the team. I do it just once. And it's full coverage. Um, yeah, I really like the shade. It was one of the ones I was excited for, and it lives up to it. Next up, we have a shade called Christmas Cookie. This one's a tad bit darker than Birthday Suit. Um, not sure how I feel about it. It was one of the colors where I was kind of lukewarm when I first looked at the at the bundle. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. We'll try this on. Um, my lips are already starting to protest. As most of you know, liquid lips are not fun to switch. This here is Christmas cookie. Uh, my first thought about it was that it is the exact same as the birthday suit color. And I'll put it side by side for you. It actually looks almost the same. Um, very slight difference. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how most people can actually tell these two shades apart. On my lips, it looks the same. I'm sure if I use one or the other, there's really no difference. Um, this one's a bit of a disappointment. So we're halfway through the, the mini bundle. Um, up next, I have a shade here called Hidden Hills. This is what it looks like. Um, it honestly is quite similar to the I'm Nude. So it's less of a warmer shade than birthday suit and Christmas cookie. So let's, let's try this on. All right, and this is Hidden Hills, and this is what it looks like on me. Um, it actually makes me look almost a little bit dead. Um, in the tube, it looks almost the same as a nude, um, as when I, uh, showed you guys. Um, but when it's actually on my skin, it is slightly darker than a nude, but this makes me look really, really washed out. Um, it's not very flattering. There's also, it shows all of my lip lines, like all of the fine lines in my lips. Um, it's not very flattering in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of this one at all. This is probably my least favorite shade in this entire bundle. I like the I'm Nude shade even more than Hidden Hills. This one just does not fly. Um, I don't like it. But again, I've seen most, I've seen a lot of these shades look spectacular on other people. It's just that it does not work with my skin tone. Um, that's just, that's just my opinion. Next up, we have the shade called Dominatrix. It is a super dark brown. This is probably the shade that got me to buy this bundle in the first place. I've never really been a big fan of new colors. It was just something that kind of just grew on me over the last decade. Um, I was just never a fan of it. I don't know why. Um, but the darker nude shades are like what really just stands out for me. Um, this was also one of like I think like one of like the earlier shades of the Jeffree Star collection. So I'm actually really excited to try this one. I hope it doesn't let me down. This here is Dominatrix and I absolutely love it. I love it so much. It looks amazing. Um, you don't really see like the fine lines in my lips. You still kind of do, but it's not as prominent as the rose color. That just brought out every line. Uh, but yeah, I am actually, I'm really glad I got this bundle. Um, with, like, this, this color alone was like awesome. I um, mean, let's be honest, the full size Allure liquid lip, uh, liquid lipstick 
retail for about 18 US, which is 24 Canadian, considering I got this entire set for all of US and has this amazing shade of it. I mean, I really can't complain. Oh my goodness, my list is going to get really well. Please watch it. Um, but we got two shades left to go. Uh, next up is called Family Jewels. That's what it looks like. It actually looks almost like a terracotta type color. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but just looking at the tube itself, it looks promising. Um, so let's give this a try. So this is Family Jewels. I like it actually. This one surprised me. Um, I didn't think I would actually like it as much as I thought I would. I was just lukewarm about it. But just looking at the color, it looks quite flattering. On to our last shade. This one is called Tasty. Let's see if it is actually tasty or not. Um, looking at the shade, I did really like this going in. Um, this was also one of the shades that kind of caught my eye when I got the bundle. So let's give it a shot. Okay. I can say I do like this color. I like it. I think it looks really good. It's not as good as top shelf in my opinion but i do really like this color after trying on all these colors they all dry down really quickly i don't find it to be sticky on my lips at all which is awesome um because i know some shades actually do that it does take a little bit for it to like dry down a little bit longer so i'll have to like set it with some powder but in this case i didn't have to do that with most of the shades if anything like they pretty much just went on like like they dry as the moment I, like, I put it on, so which is actually really awesome. Um, yeah, um, I would say like my top colors would be Dominatrix, uh, Top Shelf, and Tasty. These are my three favorite colors. I know they're all dark colors. That's just my preference. Um, I like dark colors. Um, yeah. It's um my and then my other one, the biggest surprise for me was Family Jewels. Um I I like this one a lot too, actually. I actually quite love it. I would wear this one quite a bit. Um Hidden Hills, unfortunately, I would not wear at all. I'm okay looking dead when I want to actually look if I want to look with it, but this just completely washed me out. I looked grey, it looked kinda of weird. Um the other three colors, um maybe if I like you know, like put a gloss on it, and really depending on how I do my makeup that day, I might actually just you know throw it on randomly here and there. My overall thoughts on this entire bundle is that it's worth it. Um, I think it is actually worth the price. Um, yeah, some of the colors doesn't look like it's completely filled up. Um, that might be an issue for some. I just really think that's just how the colors are made. Um, some did when you take it out of the tube, it just it just clung right onto the applicator, so that it was just so thick. So like it wouldn't just fill out the tube nicely, and some came out a little bit more liquidy. Um, so my opinion, that's kind of why some of the tubes look like they're not filled all the way. Um, like to be completely honest, like these sizes are perfect, especially if you're not like like I work from home. Like I'm not going out all the time. Like I'm not putting on makeup like every day so like when i do i have so many colors to pick from so like these little mini ones they're just the perfect size if you're you know like you want to just try out a lot of colors or if you're just you know you have so many colors to pick from and you know you're not going to use up like a full size tube um so considering that this like yes even though full price it is 52 us um you know like you think about it i mean if you, even if you just buy like half the set like it just makes more sense to buy this but that's just my opinion um, overall, I actually, I do really like this set. Um, sure, half the colors I really don't care for. Um, the other half I do love. There were some surprises in there and there were some disappointments, but hey, the colors, that's a, that's a win. So lastly, we got the Mini Virgo palette. Uh, I actually really love this palette. Um, I got it for $12 during the JSC days. Um, it's got nine shades. We got eight 
Five shades and one metallic. Um, I actually used half of the palette on my look uh, for today. Um, I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. They are perfect for traveling. It's very compact. Um, I think every doll should actually have this in their inventory as well. And yeah, we'll, I'll go through the shades, uh, shades quickly here. Uh, so first up, we got the white called Glamour Shot. Um, it is a very pigmented white. I can actually get that nice here. So it's super white. Like it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Like when you like put on the eye, like the in the, the corner eyes, it looks amazing. Um, next up, we got the razor blade, which is the metallic silver. Um, that looks really good. Um, you can actually also use that as a highlighter. Actually, I tried it, and it looks really great. Um, and then we got a uh, light pink shade called Mohawk. Um, I think that would be perfect for you know just for the base color. And then we got this right here, which is called Temperature, which is a darker gray. Um, I actually used it on the base of my eyelids today. And in the middle we have Weirdo, which is also the same name as the Velour Liquid Lip in this exact same shade, also named Weirdo. Um, Oh, look, it's the same name as the palette. Ha -ha. All right. Um, that I actually used um top of my forehead here just to kind of like blend in the look, and then it um across like the face here. I also used it in the corner eye of my eye makeup. Um, I love it. Um, I did blend it out so it's lighter. Um, so this is a little bit like more paint and not just color. Uh, and then we have. This one called Only Child. Um, I actually used that at the bottom here to like um, to transition into from the black to the red. Um, it is a much it is a darker red. Um, I really actually really like the shade. I think it looks amazing. Um, I actually also kind of got it like just a little bit here of my eyeshadow uh, color. Um, and here we got 1985. It is a much lighter gray, perfect for like a transition color or like just a base. And then this one, Freak Show. Um, it's hard to tell on the camera, uh, or even just in the palette, but when you put it on your skin, it's more of like a very dark purple tone. A little bit of purple, a little bit of brown, a little bit more purple, I think. I actually use that on my brows today. Um, I actually use it for my brows all the time now because it's just like sometimes if you know black is a little bit too much, gray is too light. This is kind of like in between. So it's kind of like my go-to brow color now. And then we last um, on in the palette, uh, we've got Scene Queen, um, which is a bit like a red, but actually quite pinkish color. Um, it has a very pink undertone to it. Um, it's not red, red like it is on, like, like as you see on the palette. Um, I did use it kind of like near the bottom here. I did blend it with Only Child though to get more of like a darker-ish red, but this actually went on my skin a little bit more pink. Not a huge fan of it. It's probably my least favorite color in this entire palette. Um, my favorite color in this palette is actually Freak Show. Um, it's very versatile. Um, Flow to my eyes, my under eyes, my eyebrows. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, um, it's a very versatile color. I really like it. Uh, when it comes to this, I think this palette absolutely slays. Um, I do recommend it. Um, I know originally it, um, I think it retails for 28 US dollars, um, which works out to be 37 Canadian. Um, again, I got 12. I wish I actually got more, but I mean, what am I going to do with more than one palette? I mean, these colors are so pigmented. I barely even need to dip into the, uh, the pans to get, like, you know, like the color I want. So, I mean, yeah, like this will, this was such an amazing buy. Um, so yeah, so that wraps up my uh, part one of my JSC haul. Um, I will be putting up a part two because I did buy quite a few other products. I just wanted to like put this one together. It went together with my look, and I was just so excited to dip into like the the mini bundle there. So yeah, thank you all for watching and stay shiny.